Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about this wheel. More specifically, how it's held up over the last 90 days because the install was three months ago. If you guys missed that first video, which I actually did the paint myself with that $25 Rust-Oleum paint job, um, link will be up there. I highly recommend you check it out uh, before you watch this one. That way you can see the steps that I took and all the proper preparation, everything necessary to make it last this long. Before we do start the video, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit like, it helps out the algorithm and you don't wanna miss out on future content like this. Let's get into it though. So I hit wide angle just for a second so we can see really everything all at once here. But this is after 90 days of the rust-oleum paint job for $25. For those of you that did watch that video, you know I went from a gunmetal gray kind of color to this gloss black. I didn't want to clean the wheel, so as you can see, there's a little dust on my fingers, but I did that on purpose. I don't want it to be like this pristine kind of deal. This is what it looks like every day. As you guys know, with black wheels, brake dust gets on there, it builds up, and it looks bad really easily. So it is kind of difficult to keep these clean, but it all depends on what color you're getting or what you plan on doing to your car. Obviously, I went for the gloss black and I knew there was gonna be some difficulty with cleaning, but as long as you keep up on it, it should look just fine, just like this. Sorry, I'm only at this angle right now. I know the microphone is on this side of the camera and I don't want it to be picking up wind. I do want to say there is no fading, no scratching, no chipping. Um, so far, this has been totally great. This exact paint that I used will be in the description. So if you wanna go browse Amazon, click on the link and then go to any color you guys want. Obviously I went for the gloss black because I want this blue and black color scheme for my car. But there's not really much to do besides show you guys exactly how the gloss black looks after three months. So these wheels will not see the winter time. I have a dedicated set of winter wheels and winter tires. So unfortunately those will be going on soon, but these are the summer boys and they're totally fine. I'm gonna get a couple more close-up shots just so you guys can see exactly what uh, the paint looks like close up. See if this is something you guys wanna do. This isn't meant to be some long drawn out video. This is literally just the three month update. Obviously right now my camera is like six inches away from the actual wheel. So if you guys want a more realistic look of what the wheel looks like from the outside, we're sitting about five, six feet away and just looks phenomenal to be quite honest. I'm super happy with the result, especially just for $25. I can't stress enough. Obviously you will get more quality with a professional powder coat or a professional paint job, but this video and really the reason I did the video in the first place where I did the install is to show you guys that with proper preparation, proper products, you guys can make this happen uh, for really cheap. And that's what this channel is all about is just making things happen yourself. I love the DIY aspect of car stuff. So hopefully this video was of some importance and of some help to you guys. If you guys are deciding to paint your wheels yourself, look at my first video, like I said, it'll be right here. If not, make sure to hit that subscribe button, browse the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.